First example is a belt drive blower motor. External temperature of this motor is slightly above normal. Further checking on amp draw put it approximately 15% above recommended amp draw from the manufacturer. A simple adjustment to the variable diameter pulley brought the amp draw within specs. Here we see normal temperatures on a drive motor. Proper belt tension can easily be verified. Many maintenance departments feel it's necessary to replace all belts on a multiple belt pulley at the same time. In this particular case, we can see that the outer two belts and the center belt are of different age. In addition, comparing the thermograms of this bearing in comparison with some baseline thermography that was done at a previous maintenance check, this bearing is generating a higher percentage of heat than the rear bearing, so this allows for its replacement on this unit's next available downtime. This is a rather large belt sander used for dismantling pallets, and it had a habit of throwing belts quite often. So they'd replace the belts and they'd run the unit for hours, and didn't have any problems with it at all. They'd start using it, and it would start throwing belts. The thermography camera, we can see that the belts are under great strain, and it was determined that once a load was applied to the blade, an idler pulley was creating extra drag, and this was uh, leading to the belt's premature failure. There's time-lapse thermography of a 12-horse three-phase motor during a routine maintenance check. This is a very important drive motor for a conveyor system. Again, routine thermography observations for maintenance purposes. Some key areas of important equipment. In this case, a machine operator had noted a grinding noise coming from the drive assembly. Only normal temperatures in the area of this drive assembly were observed. What we had found with a simple inspection was there was a chain that was rubbing against the side of a safety guard. It's a uh, hanging uh, infrared tube heater. Twenty-two horse three-phase motor during operation, exhibiting normal temperatures. Here's a curious electrical anomaly that the uh, maintenance department can look into. This is driving a three-phase motor. There's no other load, and two terminals, two wires, drawing more power than the other one. This is an electrical anomaly that would otherwise gone unnoticed and could be a potential future problem. And this is what uh, predictive maintenance is all about. The external temperature of this motor is a sure indicator of a problem. After seeing this thermal image the maintenance department took an amp draw on this motor, found it 25% above factory rating. So this piece of machinery can be taken offline before any serious damage is done to this motor. Uh, the motor itself doesn't appear to be the problem. Inspection of the front and rear bearings don't indicate any overheating. So the drag itself, the resistance causing the high amp draw is most likely coming from the machinery itself. Another example of how thermal imaging can be handy. Without even stopping this fork truck, we can take images. We can take temperatures of the brakes. Right brake, nearly 200 degrees. We can freeze an image, adjust the pip, get temperature of the left brake. Now, since we don't know what the correct temperature of a front and a left brake under variable loads is going to be, what we can do is make a comparison of the two. We've got nearly a 100 degree temperature difference between the left and front brake on this lift, which is an indication that one of the brakes is not nearly doing its job. So this can be looked into during its next scheduled maintenance.